starting to build a nice little database of players here that we've got scouted so far. Now the problem is interpreting this is a bit like finding hay in a haystack. Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Building a Nation with FC Midgeland. Now, if you're still enjoying the series, do drop a like on the video. Again, I'm not going to set a like target, but just if you're enjoying it, do, do smash the like button. It really is uh, awesome. Anyway, once again, you might notice that we're on the transfer screen. That's again because I'm having to hide stuff because of the way I'm having to do the episodes a little bit differently now. But anyway, enjoy some highlights of the games that we've played this month. Uh, it's been a slightly interesting one, uh, almost a bit topsy-turvy. And I'll join you guys in a sec for a game against someone. Around the side, he's going to shoot here. Olsen's through and Olsen's bloody scored again. Esbjerg nil. Michelin won, Christopher Olsen's second goal of the season. We've started this game pretty damn strongly again. Lin. Oh, oh, what on earth was that? Oh, come on now. That was a ridiculous goal. The goalkeeper's pretty much batted that into his own net. 1-1 one, one, though. Great. Didn't look another shot yet. Oh, Olsen. Oh, he's gone for goal. Pusic on the rebound and it is in and it's 2-1 and bloody well deserved, I have to say at this point. Martin Pusic makes it. Esbjörn nil. Michelin 2. Pusic. Out wide for Novak. Go on, a third goal would be key. Sobby's in and that is 3-1 now. We really have put the icing on the cake now in a big top of the table clash that could actually send us five points clear at the moment. That would be huge. Burma again. Can we get another good crossing ball in? Pusic is across and it's in again. We're 4-1 up now. We've abused crosses in this second half. Pusic with another goal. It's 4-1. Well, there we go. 4-1. Brilliant result away at what could have been a top of the table clash. I don't know if they'll be there towards the end of the season, but it's good to put them in their place now. It comes back to Kadlec. Oh, it's gone in off the goalkeeper. That is an insane goal. And I really think that could be already us wrapping up a place in the group stage with that goal. Very lucky, though, I have to say. Long range, you feel. And what in the name of God is going on with goalkeepers at the moment? Bobby, interesting play. Back across for Paulson. Oh, what a great hit that is. We're leading 2-1 in Salzburg now. This game has just been put completely beyond them with that second goal. And we might actually win both legs. Mari steps up and scores the penalty. I don't know why, but hey, apparently it's a foul. 2-2. Still got plenty of time left, though, and it, we're fine. There we go, guys. 2-2. As we expected, we go through. I actually played very very, very well, even in this, in this away game. Kadlec takes a touch. Can he bring it down and get the shot away? He's through and he's scored. Kadlec is an absolutely lethal striker. He really, really is. This will be a massive win. We've still got a bit of a Champions League hangover. My goodness. Oh, ball across. And George is through and it is 1-1 here. Disappointing, really. Uh, Mayer and George with the equaliser. Shane. Uh, we need to do better than that. We've created some good opportunities so far. Pusic is across. He must score and he does. We're getting a lot of success from free kicks this season as well. Michelin 2, Hobro 1. And why whips it across. Cadlech is in again. It's 3-1 now. We seem to have wrapped it up. We've really stepped it up a little in the second half. Just making sure that we get the win. But this good start to us could really give us hope towards the end of the season. Well, there we go. We made hard work of it. We got the win in the end against the poor Hobbito side. And we continue at the top. Back to him, though. Ball in again. Jacobs is in. And it is 1-0 to Bromby after three minutes. We are losing 1-0 to Bromby. And uh, this could be a tough one. Considering their league position, they should be doing better than that. Really. We'll check turns. And he's put it in for two. That's quite surprising, actually. We've played really, really well in this first half. Probably the best I've seen in a while. And we're actually 2-0 down. But then, there you go. Swings and roundabouts. It's going to go back before half-time. Pusic to the back post. And it's in. 2-1. We've got ourselves a goal back almost immediately afterwards. We've really got to pull this game back and at least get a draw. There we go. 2-1 Brumby. And to be honest, I'm struggling to understand how we didn't get a draw out of that. But there you go. That's how it is. Right then, guys. Champions League group stage draw. We've got the money in our accounts. We got 1.5 million for getting past Red Bull Salzburg. And then we apparently we got given like another 8 million for getting to the group stages, which is great. Which means the club is now in the white or the black when it comes to finances. No extra transfer budget, of course. Um, but still, money is in the, pa in the pot, which is good. So let's take a little look at what we've got. So obviously, the top seeds is just winners from all the groups. We've got Real Madrid, Porto, United, City, Atletico, Arsenal, Leverkusen, Shakhtar, Sevilla, Kiev, Galatasaray, Roma, Leon, Olympiakos, Lazio, Victoria, Pilsen going to that group, interestingly. Bruges, Celtic, Borussia Mönchengladbach, uh, Apoel, Wolfsburg, Ludogorets, who smashed like eight past Botty Bar Botti Barasov, Batty Borisov, uh, Ghent, and of course us. So let's just do the automatic draw, get going, and see what group we get. And the fact is, we have no expectations of getting out of our group. That's not why we're here. We're just here to see if we can pick up any little point. You know, a point is worth a lot of money. If we can grab one or two, that would be pretty damn useful. We're just here because it means that, you know, hopefully it will help our coefficient. We might even get our league boosted a little bit in the first season for qualifying for the group stages. You'd be surprised how much of a difference that actually can make. Um, so we're going to just jump forward a little bit until we're onto that final round of picks, I think. 
Right, the final round of picks is about to start. Which group will we get? Who knows? Oh my god, Bayern Munich, Manchester United of all people, and Olympiakos. Maybe against Olympiakos we've got a chance to get some results, but I say against United and Bayern Munich we're probably stuffed. But, you know, we get some good money for the television money and I think it's going to do us I think this is important that we've done this in the first season we can now start to turn our attention really um, to the Super League and making sure we defend it because the board will not be happy if we don't right so as you would have seen obviously we had some highlights of the games we also had the Champions League draw after we got through against Salzburg we did all right in the second leg two all was a fair result I think they could have probably nicked the game probably slightly better than us on the night but that was fine we did the job in the first leg for once which was really really pleasant to see um so I mean we didn't have to do any work in the second leg really now of course that led to us being drawn in a group with Bayern Munich and Manchester United and Olympiacos, which is going to be difficult. And today's live com is against Bayern Munich uh, away in Germany. So it's going to be a crazy difficult game. We're not expecting to win, but that's not the real uh, big problem for us. We're just trying to go get the television money and all that jazz. Stats of the players so far. Kadlec, what a man. 12 appearances, 10 goals, 4 assists. I'm loving his work so far. I know some people said that he was good, but I think we've actually managed to get the best out of him so far, or certainly a lot out of him. He really does know how to break the back line. He gets in behind and he scores goals when presented with chances, and that is golden. Something else that is worth noting that is that Jim Larson, one of the players that was out injured at the very start, is nearly back. Um, it says three to six weeks, which is incredible because he's actually resumed training already. And that just shows you how long he was out for. So hopefully he will be coming back relatively soon. And we'll have another player to put in the middle of that defense, which is just going to be a godsend because we're basically going to get extra signings throughout the season just from players coming back from injury. And that is rather cool. Another good feature is the fact that our bank balance is now perfectly in the white. We don't have anything really on the old transfer budget still because the board aren't giving us a lot of it. Uh, but that's not a big problem for me right now. I'm hoping they will at the end of the season. The key thing for me is that the club are now in a decent financial situation. So what I might try and do is ask them about improving our youth facility. I decided to do it right now just because why the hell not? We'll see what happens. We're talking to Matthew Benham. I'd like us to improve the youth facilities to enable young players to reach their potential. And yeah, I think that's what they want. Let's try it. Approving these facilities encourage an agreed philosophy of the club. We are keen to see. Yes, they've improved it. Uh, not improved it. They've approved the request. I tried it right at the start. They said you're too new for that, but we're getting the youth facilities upgraded, which is perfect. Now, looking at the squad itself, things are starting to come together. The familiarity with the tactic is improving. I don't know whether that's because of this or not, but what I've actually now done is I've put one on control and one on counter. That way we're learning those mentalities as well. So it will mean that we can switch up when we need to uh, quite nicely, but standard is generally what I'm going for from the beginning. Uh, we switched to a control approach against Bromby and we used counter against some of the other sides this month as well, including Salzburg away. Now the other thing I find a little bit interesting is I always do a quick pick just so that it puts the players in the right position and gets rid of injured ones and then I can sort of adjust it. My assistant seems to have this weird obsession with putting Tim Sparv as a centre-back and I always have to move him out put Singh there and bring Vanguard in there because I don't really like to do that and Singh is great to have off the bench uh, because he's got those long shots and I love it. I'm gonna go with Daniel Royer on the left hand side tonight though give Pusic a little bit of a rest because he is just starting to flag a little bit as you can see some of the players are but that's just because of the fixture congestion even though we had an international break. Now Bayern's lineup is actually surprisingly deep um, but that's I don't think that's gonna make any difference. They've got Lewandowski, Robin, Thiago, Vidal, Muller, uh, Alonso, Bernat, Boateng, Benatia, Lam, and Uruk in goal, interestingly. No Neuer, which is surprising. Maybe he's moved or he's injured or something. I don't know. I'm going to start with counter because it's buying away, and I see no point in us trying to go standard for this one. We know we're not going to be able to control the ball, so we might as well just accept that from the start and play our natural game. Now, I think maybe, maybe going a bit more structured could have helped, but I don't really see a much chance of us getting anything from this game. It's more a case of you never know what we can do. I think if we go out there and throw everything at them, we will just get absolutely slaughtered. And we may get slaughtered anyway. That's bound to happen. They've literally scored from the kickoff. <laughs> oh, dearie me, guys. Come on. You can do better than that, at least. Wow. I I'm very surprised that we were able to get played through that quickly. Uh, they really did just allow Vidal through. I think, yeah, it was our right back got way too deep and allowed Vidal to break the back line. And Bayern led within 20 seconds. The perfect start to the game. Um, hopefully we can avoid... Cons oh my goodness. This could get a long night. Lewandowski. Right. There's been some weird goalkeeping this month as well. Um, we had a goal weirdly disallowed as well in that same game. I think it was against um, Obro. It was really, really odd. There was just goals going in from all over the pitch. Um, goalkeepers were really not on their day, let's say that for one thing. Up to Sobby, he's just completely lost the ball. Um, I'm just, I don't know, I'm trying to think of the best way to go about this. And I think that no matter what we do tactically, against a team like Bayern this early in a safe, we are simply going to get torn apart by them because they've got players like Iron Robin. And, and that's a penalty kick, apparently. Um, so 2-0 down, it's going to be inside two minutes, which is... I don't know. I mean, it's Bayern away. We were always going to struggle here. I would have liked to have held on a little bit more than you know, two goals conceded in the first five minutes, really. But what can you do? I don't know whether that, I mean, it's hard to tell from up here whether it's a penalty or not, but it just looked like he won the ball. But what can you do? We gave away one of those in the uh, other games as well, I think. Vidal steps up and take it. We don't need to see a replay of the penalty. 
Ah, oh, dear. Oh, good. Cadlet just twisted his ankle. To add insult to quite literally injury, um, we're going to, yeah, close down Vidal, that's for sure. But so far, we've been absolutely shocking. Um, and I know that we've done well to even get to this point, and I suppose we should be happy and just accept that sometimes you're just going to get an absolute battering off a team like Bayern. Just think, later on in this save, we'll get to try and do the same type of thing uh, to a team like Bayern. I really can't wait for those days to finally start coming. Rowan out wide, Novak doesn't win it. Oh, I thought we were going to give away another... I genuinely thought we were going to give away another penalty there and be 3-0 down inside 14 minutes. Look at the space in behind. Where didn't track his man. Lewandowski cleared. And again, the ball is just falling straight back to Bayern here. Alarm. Get out there. Back to Müller. He's going to pull it back to the edge, you'd feel. Good tackle from Novak. Still calls back to Bayern. Ball in Lewandowski. And it's a good save from Anderson. We've gone 10 minutes without conceding a goal. This is progress, people. I would be surprised if we've had a single key pass in this game. Three of them! And I, said, I consider that a good thing. Uh, Royer has been quite error prone. Maybe I should have put Pusic in. I don't know. Um, right, okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to close down less and try and hold our shape a bit more. We're going to be a bit more direct because why the hell not? We're going to exploit the middle because I see that's the only real space for that type of thing. And we're going to just be a little bit more narrow with our play and maybe just drop the tempo down a little. Uh, in fact, I might even temp be tempted to switch to a more structured approach for the rest of this game. Just to, It's damage limitation we're on right about now. Okay, we are firmly the underdogs and we should put that, you know, we should remind them of that and just relax them a little bit for this second half, but at least we've managed to hold, hold on a little bit now and sort of shut the shop up a little bit, but for an attacking point of view, I don't see us getting anything in this game. Um, get some early crosses maybe, just to clear the balls to the flanks just to get the ball away and out towards those wingers as quickly as possible maybe um get some crosses straight in and see what Pusic can do up top but I just don't think he's got anything unfortunately which is a shame but there you go Royer is offside he may come off as well at some point I'm not entirely sure Tiago now to whip one in we've scored a few from these situations but we've also been capable of conceding just like that but we have had a shot it's Bayern Munich guys you know what do you want me to say um we're doing our best, basically, and as long as we, we've got to this point, and I think we, were, we weren't even expected to get to this point, so we've exceeded expectations in the first season, and I'll take that, frankly. We've got a long time to build. The group stage is pretty much going to be that. I think we're going to concentrate mainly on the home games against Manchester United and Bayern, if we can, as well as the games against uh, Olympiacos. Those are going to be hugely important. We're going to get Budarov on. Larson, there's no way in hell I'm bringing him on. I don't know why I even let the assistant put him on the bench, to be honest. Um, you know what? Let's get Poulsen on off and get Harmeet Singh on. Uh, someone said something in the comments that I found quite funny, which was Harmeet Singh, ball, meet, net, and I like that. That could be an episode title next time he scores one of those bangers. I'm going to turn on shoot on sight, just so that Harmeet Singh gets a chance to have a few long ranges, and you never know, he might score a long range belter to make it worthwhile, you know, one of those meaningless goals that are absolutely fantastic, you know, um, or we will just end up conceding four or five more in this game, and I really hope we can at least hold on to not concede sixes and sevens, you know, if we can lose four or five, no oh my god crossing i mean fair enough good cross good goal but we really should have had a defender covering that front post really um like this ball shouldn't really be allowed to get there really that ball should be cut out by the defender but that's how it is um we'll just skip that as well because there's no point in seeing that okay substitutions we've actually made all of ours right now oh my god please not another goal straight off the kickoff let's get one back Get a bit of pride on the night. Get someone to score an absolute banger. And they'll maybe perk us up a little bit. There we go. He's had a shot and we've hit the target with it. Nicely done, Martin. Um, we'll take that. Most of our shots have been from range. That's fine. Don't let them score another one. United have finally scored a goal against Olympiacos through Ashley Young, of all people, which is an interesting one. Um, Alonso. Vidal. Alonso. They're going to get a fifth one, I said. I think 5-0 will probably be the final scoreline. And they thoroughly deserve... Oh... Don't help them. Sparve with the own goal to make it 5-0 to Bayern. We've stepped it up a little bit in the second half, but it's mostly been long shots, as you can see, with the seven long shots. But I didn't really know what else to do at that point. We just needed to get forward and have a couple of shots, and you never know what can happen. And that didn't even look like it hit him. And if it did, it looked like it hit him on the hand. Um, oh, I don't know. Weirdness. Oh, not another one. Come on, Muller ball in. Cleared away. Back to Douglas Costa. Did I say Diego Costa earlier? I don't think I did, but... Um, and I think it'd be... You know, insane for us to expect to get anything from this game. Hello, oh, Pusic has broken the back line. Can he get a shot away? Go on, Martin. Oh, well, he's got the shot in. We've actually managed 11 shots in a game against Bayern Munich. I'm not entirely... And we've actually created three half chances, apparently. And maybe if we weren't on long shooting, we might have been a bit closer to take the shots. Or maybe we wouldn't have created the chances at all. So it's just one of those things. You just don't really know, do you? Uh, but I sense that that probably wasn't the highlight. And it's more likely that Bayern are going to grab themselves a sixth goal. Douglas Costa goes for goal and it is a miss from long range right there's only a few seconds left here we seem to have escaped without conceding the sixth goal so fingers crossed we'll get out there we go Bayern five middle and nil you know that was gonna happen really um I, I genuinely agree with Brian for once oh 
Well, I'm sorry, but is Bayern Munich away your Michelin? I, yeah, okay, well, usually I don't. Usually I go with the aggressive approach, no matter what the result is, if you lose, no matter who you're playing against. Maybe I should have done that time, but hey, it is what it is, guys. So, next episode, I'm tempted to do a bit of a bumper one, so we'll come to come back and do the Manchester United away game at Old Trafford, which means that in between there we'd have a, a Super League game against Norgel, and we'd have Frem in the cup, which is, I originally thought I said Flem when I first saw it. Uh, we've got Randers, we've got... Um, Olympiacos, and we've got AGF and Randers again, actually, twice playing them in the league, which is really odd. And then we've got AGF, which sounds like some kind of militia force. It really, really does. Uh, what is this? That Aarhus. Or Aarhus? Aarhus. Okay, we'll take it. So yeah, next episode, Manchester United away. We've got a lot of games to show you then. Um, we're starting to really get into the meat of the season now. Starting to get some games under our belt. Starting to feel a bit more uncomfortable with the tactic. We might have lost two games in a row in all competitions, but before that, we went on a really good run. So I will take that any day of the week. And if you guys have enjoyed this video, do drop a like on the video. I'm not going to set like target. If you're enjoying it, just smash the like button. It lets me keep doing this stuff, basically. And if you have, haven't already and you are new to the channel, subscribe. That'd be really, really nice. And I'll see you guys in the next episode for a game against Manchester United as we continue building a nation.